For over 150 years, Bay Area residents and workers have been using passenger rail to travel along the Caltrain corridor between San Francisco and San Jose. Over the last decade, Caltrain has become one of the busiest commuter railways in North America, carrying over 50,000 daily riders along a 77-mile route with 32 stations. I think that 150 years ago, when Abraham Lincoln was in the White House, Leland Stanford and others built this railroad. And the railroad has played such a pivotal role in the way this community, this greater community, has developed. But as the population in the Bay Area has increased, ridership demand has quickly outgrown the capacity of the system. Today, our region is recognized as the epicenter of modern technology and innovation, and it deserves a state-of-the-art rail system. Now, to keep pace with Bay Area's population growth and increased ridership demand, the system needs to evolve, and that's why we are focused on the Caltrain Modernization Program. The Caltrain Modernization Program will transform the railroad from a diesel-based service into an electrified system with upgraded performance, operating efficiency, capacity, safety, and reliability. A new advanced signal system will be installed to automatically stop trains before collisions can occur. It will also improve traffic flow by minimizing the amount of time that the gates are down and improving the system's overall capacity by allowing trains to run more closely together. It's going from locomotive, diesel locomotives to electrification and that's going to enable us to run service that is much more attractive, much smoother, it will accelerate and decelerate faster and be able to have us make more stops and still get from end to end in about the same amount of time. By converting Caltrain from a diesel-based service into an electrified system, we'll be reducing regional traffic congestion and greenhouse gas emissions. We're able to put more trains through our rail corridor and we're able to support more riders. That increases uh, revenue and uh, we're also able to reduce the costs from going from diesel fuel to electricity. With those combined, we would be able to significantly reduce the subsidy required to run our modernized system compared to what it is today. Caltrain modernization provides faster, safer, quieter, cleaner, and more frequent transit service. And in the process, generates over two and a half billion dollars in economic benefits, including thousands of new jobs. Anytime you're trying to build a regional project or any kind of a big project, it takes a lot of people coming together and pulling together to get this type of an improvement made. But it's our duty and it's our responsibility and we owe it to the future generations.